So hello and welcome to a very special interview. We need exact details of what transpired. Still, there are some grey areas about the Jyoti Yaraji issue. And of course, the Indian performance stage in the Pal Singh tour with that last attempt of 20.36. Avinash Sable, incredible 8, 1953. Murli Sri Shankar, two medals in the 10K, 10,000 meters rather. We have plenty lined up. Tejashwin Shankar has started very well with uh, the two don't, events. Don't forget Seema. Don't forget Seema. Don't forget yeah, Seema at at the age of 43 to get her medal. Correct, at the age of and, and, and 20 years. Uh, what a career. 20 Seema years. Had. Incredible. Incredible. Absolutely. First, Adil, what exactly transpired? I mean, you were there. Uh, you wear multiple hats. World Athletics Vice President, President of AFI. You had to stand up for your athlete. You did. Can you please clarify once and for all what transpired? I think it was very simple. The Chinese girl had a foul start. Now, when the girl took a foul start, naturally, she disturbed everybody else. Jyoti was in the lane next to her. So, Jyoti and the others, it was not only Jyoti, Jyoti and the others got off the blocks. It was a very simple decision which the start referee, in my view, messed up. All he had to do is red card the Chinese girl and carry on with the race. He, I don't know whether it was what it was, whether it was pressure or what it was, he did not red card her and uh, he called her or she went to see the video of the foul start. Now, there is no question, there is no question of then looking at the reaction time because the gun is not gone. Only after the gun goes is the time you see the reaction time. And they were arguing about reaction time that Jyoti had also left the block. Yes, of course, Jyoti left the block. And rightly so, because she was disturbed by the athlete in the lane next to her. And that would have been the end of this. Exactly this happened in Bangkok. And she created a scene in Bangkok. Bangkok, a big scene created and wouldn't leave the stadium. But that is the end of it. Now, for some reason, whatever reason that... I don't know the reason, but they wanted to red card Jyoti also. At that time, Jyoti protested. I was I was in the medal ceremony room looking at the race on the screen along with the deputy mayor of Hanza. <laughs> and and uh, when this happened, I mean, they you know, because they take away your card and your phone and everything because you have to go for the medal. I ran out, grabbed the phone from my LO. And I said, the first thing I called up and I said, make sure that she runs under protest. They don't, they've red carded her, but she still has the right to run under protest as per rules. Because I'm the vice chair of the World Athletics jury for the Olympic Games. So, so I know my rules. So, so I said, make sure that she is allowed to run. Because once the race is over, rerunning a race becomes close to impossible. Rarely is a race been the jury, the jury will not want a race rerun. So, so that was the message sent. Then called up the technical director and I said, this is nonsense. You just can't do this. I mean, she has no role to play and you're red carding her. So, call was made to the manager saying, go now and file a protest even a verbal protest, if it has to be, before we put in a fine. You, there is a there is a provision for a verbal protest and a provision for a written protest. So I said, go and file. Don't look at the rule book. I'm telling you what to do. Go and file a verbal protest first. Go to the TIC. File a verbal protest. And if they allow her to run, the other girl. If they don't allow her to run, protest. If they allow her to run, protest. So, if they don't allow Jyoti to run, you know, protest. Yeah, yeah. And the pro go there to the TIC now and put in that written protest. So, that is what happened. Finally, they let both of them run, which was again wrong, in my view. The Chinese girl, they had no business to let her run, as per rule. 
so anyway they were there already protesting so the minute the race got over that protest got red and uh, the referee the referee finally decided that uh, yes the girl had broken the start and she had to be disqualified so so you clearly had to protest yes yes there was no other way there was no other way because they made her run you had to protest so Got even it. before the race was over the protest was in okay. because and i sent my guys to the tic okay and we were also told that there was a chinese protest after that is that true there no there was no chinese the chinese came there to protest the chinese didn't come the girl came with her coach and was creating a big scene out there at the tic which i was watching from a distance i had sent uh, our chief coach our manager and uh, ravindra choudhury there who is the chef team monsieur deputy chef team monsieur that go and go and see tell me minute to minute what is happening because technically uh, i can't intervene because yeah. i'm not the manager or connected with the team so i said i can stand here and tell you exactly what you have to do but uh, i can't i can't uh, i can't sign any document so i was like standing 20 meters away and advising them what to do but in the meantime there was a big scene created there in the meantime uh, i think apparently she was head of the and she was crying and yeah, yeah that's okay that's okay that's okay that's so everybody cries i mean that's all nonsense you you break a start you have no business to cry so uh so at that time i think the i saw the chinese uh, who's my council member also of world athletics i think she came there and told her you can't protest uh, it's wrong and i and, and she tried to take her away i don't think she was listening even to her the big scene was being created we were tense that uh, you know if there is some protest again there is some manipulation there shouldn't be some manipulation as like i always said and i maintain this from day 1 that winning in china is not easy to beat the chinese in china is not easy i've been saying this over and over again in every single interview for the last 3 months and 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 again you can't talk to half of them even in the tic you can't talk to half of them you need to carry your interpreter with you etc etc it's a tough call but i think everything then finally turned out turned out uh, in our favor and i think we we did well fantastic so that sort of clearly clearly finally clarifies every detail on this matter now turning uh, to some good uh, obviously jyoti was a perfect bollywood <laughs> ending happy ending of hindi cinema so that works brilliantly for us as well but avina sable tejinder tour seema punia uh, multiple medals in the 10000 meters you must be over the moon and it just started No yes and no I think we lost a medal in the 400 meters men uh I think uh, the wrong focus we lost a medal in the women 400 meters we could should have easily got a bronze there we could have got a gold in the 400 men uh I think we missed out the 10000 boys ran a fantastic strategy the 10000 boys ran a fantastic strategy we had worked out the strategy uh before before going into the race with Scott Simmons and the whole idea was to make the race fast so that you wanted to hurt because the other competitors had better timings but this season they had not such great timings and our boys were very fit and i must tell you gulvi ran with a cut leg the the bahrainian boy spiked yes, him with seven both. laps seven laps he ran with a bleeding leg and he ran his heart out and that is what is the most important thing i think 1500 again we lost a gold i think saroj kept his reserve for too far back had he been in the in the top 2 he could have he could have managed to so we could have got a gold again in the 1500 we had to settle for a silver and bronze So while I'm happy Tejinder gave us a heart attack Tejinder gave us a heart attack <laughs> I, I was close to getting a heart attack <laughs> but I think uh, he pulled off 
Shri has been so unlucky, so unlucky. I can't tell you. He's just been losing by two and three centimeters every time. Such a great and jumper. And then it's half a finger, right? This much. This much. <laughs> He, I I just feel so sad for that boy. He's such a good kid. He's such a hard worker. He's such a sincere kid. And every time it's like two centimeters, he loses out. His time will come. Paris is his time. You get him ready. Trust you me. We are getting him. We are getting him. We are getting everybody ready.